How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video in today's video guys We are back here um, Working in the shop and today I got a special special car here. If you guys saw the live stream yesterday um, I did The let me show you here really quick. So we went and we picked up three things. So or two things technically picked up a 68 I think yeah, we picked up this 68 Shelby GT500 uh, we picked up this Plymouth, what is this, Plymouth Barracuda, it's a 426 Hemi, it's got the Hemi shaker in the front. Um, and then I also had this one in storage, which I was able to uh, pull out just to just to check it out. And in this one, I am going to be doing an older uh, a V8 uh, double carb supercharger, but not for now. Um, but if you check this out, we got a brand new V8 uh, double overhead cam supercharger right there on the top. Um, it's pushing, what, 1385 you have 1,285 and for speed, it's doing easily probably 200 miles an hour within, I think like 13 seconds or 12 seconds. I think 12 seconds is what the 200 mile an hour mark was last time. So I think with a little bit more tuning, we can make this thing insanely quick. Um, probably not as fast as our Chevy C10, but it's still really quick. I still need to redo the suspension on that if I ever end up doing it. Uh, but hey, now we're cutting on to this Barracuda Hemi right here. Um, we'll start out the video guys. We're not gonna be doing the motor first. We'll be doing the body tires um, And making it look nice first. This will be the first episode next episode. We'll be doing the Hemi engine the Hemi shaker right here uh, Let's get this thing up here um, I'm trying to think We'll probably start with yeah, we'll start with making it look nice Let's see Pop this out. Oh wait, actually, I forgot. Before I do any car, I always do. Let me see. What do I have? What's oh, a giant hole in the top? Oh, it looks like the shaker comes out the top then. Do I have any of this? I don't. Okay. Well, before I do any car, I always take a picture of it because I always like to see um, where I arrive at uh, by the end of it. Plus, it's really really neat to see these things come together. So we'll start with this guy right here. There we go. And yeah, that should be good. All right. Tear this thing down. I don't think there really was much to tear off. Is there a bumper on this? Nope, not right now. Okay. So then we'll repair these. So we got the door. Oh, it was the other side fender. And I do think I really, really like this purple. So I think we'll probably stick with it too. All right. Uh, Let's grab our, there's that. Grab the welder. The welder's what we'll use to get rid of all the rust. So if you check out the interior here, um, you can see some of these pieces are a little rusty and it's definitely not as like shiny as it could be. So we do this and voila, it's a lot more shinier. Uh, the wood grain looks a lot better and whatnot. Hit this, there we go. Oh, what is this? It's like the back rear quarter panels. Oh, okay. The door says Hemi on. Okay. So the back rear quarter panels almost have like a stripe going along them. Um, and then the door says Hemi, which is really neat. All right. I'm going to check really quick. See if there's any body tuning sh parts. Uh, Barracuda. Okay. Nothing in here. Let's go to the body shop. Let's look for a Cuda. Okay. So we need the front left oh let's grab all the okay let's grab these first okay there we go and then we need right door from bumper we need uh which fender front left fender i think is what we need and then i don't know if i bought the hood or not let me check really quick Okay, I did. All right, good. I was going to say, I didn't want to go through and purchase this when I don't need to. All right, slide all these windows in. Yeah, this alone already makes the thing, this thing look insane. I do really, really, really like the look of this. I don't know if I like it better than a Charger, but it's very reminiscent of the Charger body lines. Uh, like a large hood coming up right here then this yeah yeah it looks exactly like a charger 
All right, there we go. All right, it's looking good. Uh, next thing, let me see here. It's going to be plates. We'll do plates first. Um, and I think for these plates, we'll do some uh, some Wisconsin plates. You know, why not? All right, let's see. Here's our first one. And then once I finish the second one, I'll be able to see if this completes it. Global body condition is at 90%. What am I missing here? Left body window at A. Ah, these windows. Okay, the small ones. Alrighty, there we go. Now that's done. I'll get this thing higher in the air. So now that it looks really good, actually, you know what? Now that it looks good, actually, let's go paint it really quick. Because I'll paint it. Once I paint it, I can get a good idea to see what we want for the color of the wheels. I'm thinking maybe chrome or black wheels. But I'll show you guys here in a second. So. All right. So we'll do this black library. Keep her looking purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks so much better. Okay. Yeah. So I think who maybe chrome wheels on these. Chrome or black. I'll have to. We'll have to see. We'll see in a minute. All right. Let's get this back to the lifter. Close that. Get him up. Okay. Take off these rims. Um, I think we're going to switch out these Atlantas for more of a traditional muscly rim. Which I will show you guys here in just a second. And this is going to be uh, made for more uh, a street driven aspect. Not really a drag strip. So that's what I'm going to be building this around. Okay, so then we got 215, 70, 15. All right, all right, all right. So, where are they at? I think it's in the, cl I think it's in the classic. And I'll know them when I see them. Um, okay, yeah, here they are. So one of these. Oh, here it is. The retros. Yeah, these ones right here. So you need four of these, and we're going to upgrade to the 16s, guys. And then one of these. Uh, 215 by 70s. They didn't really fill up the wheel well completely. So we'll probably do 235s. Uh, we'll give it race tires. So four, we'll do 235, probably by 60s. Keep them a little bit thinner, you know, help out a little bit, I think. Then we'll get these bad boys chromed up, ready to go. Oh, geez. Okay, hold on. Let me go back through and sell a bunch of stuff. So when I have a bunch of stuff in the inventory, it makes it way more difficult. Let's see, anything below 97. Hop on out. Okay. There we go. That sold out a lot. So there we go. And then to make these chrome, I just go from here to chrome. And then it's a white chrome, which is silver, basically. Got to do these. And we got to do three more here. And then... One more. Bam. All right, there we go. So then... I think we're good to go now. I think we can start mounting and balancing these things. See how the chrome looks. Yeah, chrome looks pretty good. Yeah, I think it'll look really good with that black and purple look. All right, now all I got to do is mount and balance three more and then we are good to go i wish i could like i said before i wish you could upgrade these ba this balancer machine all right now that that's good oh this guy's done okay 
There we go. So then I'll probably start doing suspension and exhaust here next. Probably suspension first. Because you know, I got to get the brakes redone. I can't, I've never really like just left the brakes. I always, always have to redo the brakes. I never want to leave them uh, in their original condition. Mainly because it's just not, not a good idea. All right. So I'll start with the rears here in a second because they're leaf springs and leaf springs are way way easier okay last one's getting balanced looks like we're good to go then all right so i can tear down this entire leaf spring suspension in roughly a minute i'd say it's pretty quick after i've done this suspension about 20 times easily i think it becomes really, really, really quick. The more modern double wishbone rear uh, suspensions, those ones in this game take so much longer. Alright, let me get the shafts disconnected. Looks like we're probably going to be doing a full restoration on this. Just because that's how things are looking already. God, I, I love how... I love how this game actually... When they release cars, they like work perfectly. And then the mods are just a little bit like off in every way. So like the mods will have things like clipping through the engine bays or something like that. But the game the developer released like add-ons stuff like this like this plymouth barracuda the plymouth dlc it actually looks like perfect in every way they make their own suspensions um or not suspensions. they make their own exhaust pipes that like go up over everything i don't know it just looks fantastic All right, get these guys out of here so let's see you can go cap bearing hub And done. There we go. So I haven't done a suspension teardown for you guys in a while. So that's why I'm actually walking through this whole one. Usually I just go through time lapse this. Do it all on my own or something like that. But I'll keep it in this time. Alright, there we go. There we go. Suspension is completely torn down. Well, let's tap through all this and get this all done. All right. We saved a decent amount. I think we broke like three pieces. Okay. So now we got to go through and I got to make sure I have most of the stuff for the suspension. So we'll get two of those, two of those, two of those. Um, and then I'll, oh yeah, I can get these going really quick. Which one? Shock absorber. Get both our springs. Both of our front, absor front shock absorber caps. Um, what else do we need? Oh, rear shock. I think it's shock absorber B. Well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm going to have to buy new ones, but it's not going to be too bad. Press the spring and done. All right, and then while we wait for that to go through its thing, 
Let's get working on all these bushings. So we have steering, we don't have steering, and sway bar B, don't have sway bar B. All right. So steering rack. Sway bar B, which means we need end link Bs. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Pretty sure each one correlates to exactly which one you need. That's where I bought. Did I buy rear? I bought rear. Okay, yeah. That is okay. There we go. Snap over, get this side going. So we're going to need another bottom suspension arm and another upper. All right, that works for me. That's pretty easy, actually. Get all these sway bar components in. All right, now that that's done, so we need, where am I, where am I at? So we're going to get our upper and our bottom, I think is what it was. There's a difference. So it's, we need the bottom, not the lower. Then we're gonna need the upper. All right, check and mate. And we need steering knuckle, okay. Steering knuckle, I think it was D or is it C? C, okay. All right, and then guys, after this video and the next one, I'm going to be doing another $10,000 challenge. Um, now, after I got that first one done and out of the way, um, I think I know what to be looking for. I'll probably be trying to do one of these older type of uh, type of vehicles here, just because they're a little bit easier on the wallet, pretty much. Um, and this next time around, I'm probably going to go easier on the engine and try and get more cosmetics done. I still, obviously, still number one goal is to get it running, but I think I can probably squeeze out a little bit better next time. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I didn't just buy all those. Let's see. So we're going to need another break too, but here we go. Now I can see what these look like. All right, let's take a step back, examine these. Oh yeah, those are perfect. Those fill the wheel wells real, real nice. All right, got everything I need over there. All right, I need to go pick up another caliper. So one brake caliper. We had the cylinder, so I'm good to go. Yeah, that looks really good. All right. Well, I'm going to just go through this whole leaf spring suspension real quick, guys. And I will see you guys back here when this guy is done. All right, guys, there we go. I just realized it doesn't look nearly as good when you have drums on the back with these wheels, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's fine. It'll work for what we're doing. But there we go, guys. The cosmetics are done from this Plymouth Barracuda. Right now, honestly, I could just take it, sell it for a big amount, ship it off to some other shop, let them do the engine. But no, we're going to finish this engine here, mainly because it's got the Hemi Shaker. We even, oh, there we go. We even got the hood and everything on it to do it. Oh, hey, look, we got little hood pins and everything. That is nice. Okay. 
yeah, it looks sweet. But in the next video, guys, we're going to be doing the Hemi Shaker here. We're going to be doing a full, full build on it. I'm not really sure how big we'll be able to get the horsepower numbers, but I'm sure it won't be too shabby. I'm looking through a lot of these parts right now, and a lot of these parts will be able to... Yeah, a lot of these parts will be able to actually do uh, like performance parts on, which will be really, really good for this. But there we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video so far. If you did enjoy and you're enjoying the car mechanic series that I'm doing here, leave a like down below letting me know. Leave a comment. I'd greatly appreciate it. And also, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I will greatly appreciate that too. Uh, but until further ado, I'll see all you guys in the next car mechanic simulator video.